Before they can be animated, 3D characters need a skeletal hierarchy that allows articulated deformation. The setup of these virtual bones relies heavily on manual work, so when I found out that a tool called RigNet uses machine learning to generate character rigs, I made it into a Blender add-on. The main issue with that first implementation was that too many Python dependencies made it somehow difficult to install. I have later replaced the external 3D libraries with Python functions, but at present there is no way around the PyTorch framework to handle the data and the NVIDIA CUDA to access the GPU capabilities. I've added an install button to ease the setup process. It auto-detects the system install of CUDA and downloads the required modules to a dedicated directory. Last, we need a trained model. That is, the procedures that a computer has learned during its training. A ready-to-use RigNet model is hosted by the University of Massachusetts Amherst. The link can be reached from the add-on preferences. Now we are ready to go. We can define a collection containing our character and generate a single mesh, low-poly version of it. The recommended poly count is between 1000 and 5000. We can change the initial value if we think that we are losing detail. We start the process and wait. The more time-consuming tasks are the mesh data extraction and the inference of the bone's positions. When the operation is finished, the character is bound to a deformation rig. This bone arrangement comes from the dataset used in the Amherst model. Since the tool makes no assumptions about the nature of the character, the bones have numeric, non-explicative names. But the left-right suffixes allow the use of symmetric functionalities. There are right-click menu operators that we can use to untangle the bones of the spine, or merge more bones together. We can make the generated skeleton more similar to a Rigify rig, add Rigify attributes to our bones, and generate a full animation rig with controls. So the spine root needs a spine's basic spine tag. The upper arm will have a limb's super limb property. Rigify legs use super limb too, but with limb type set to leg in the options. Once we are done, we can invoke Namify to make the bones match those of Rigify and extract a metric from which we apply the usual workflow. Broadly speaking, AI solutions can be integrated in Blender quite well. More remeshing and sampling functionalities, if exposed to the Python API, would surely improve the process. Then there is the tricky problem of additional Python packages. Most programmers use virtual environments to partition their install on a per-project basis. This add-on does something of that sort, but there is no standard way yet. And since machine-learned solvers may take time, an actual progress bar for operators would be nice. As for neural rigging, there is a lot of room for future work. Performance, portability, and the generation itself can be improved. That's everything for now. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your characters. Bye.